Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah! They even had him up on the TV! I'm not sure that appearing in local news is rumor of the month segment qualified. Why no college student? But also, like, I'm gonna get a photo of the thing that already got a photo of it. Last segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper. For real. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Yes. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. Hey, man, you know, whatever gets you paid. No shame. That's why I was camping out by the lake. I don't know how she gets paid, but still, if it works, it works. That's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep. Borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang... It snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Well, then also the time that we set it off. Yep. Hmm. But that's all I was hiding. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if we're going out that what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. It's already in the news. Yeah, I don't know why you think you got a scoop. Her logic is fucking shot. She looks so happy, though. Just like that lawyer. Yeah. Shot. <laughs> yeah. Shot dead. Shot through the heart. Competitors. And you're to blame. Yeah. It's like a great shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. <laughs> shutterbugs. Uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually... Objection. Mr. Wright, I will not have you asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at the lake. <laughs> exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. Sharper, huh? Sharper. There Whoa. wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. There wasn't much else to look at? Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang, and she thought Gordy was out there, I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Uh, then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands and I heard another gunshot. Yeah, we passed that last time. Yeah. So he thinks that we present evidence on this one. The idea that she watched the lake the whole time, the boat the whole time. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Got through the heart, and you're too blame. Well, we're still fixated on the fact that she heard name. the victim got shot once, but she her, but she witnessed two shots, but the gun witnessed three shots, and none of these match. <laughs> I wish we had talked to the gun. Yeah, why is, we need to put the the gun on the witness stand so that we can be hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, taken automatically at 12:15 a.m. That is a very specific time of death. Well, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the autopsy report again. Okay, never mind. Uh, 24th or 25th. So they're saying they're just talking about how it's on the cusp of yeah. the day. Okay. 12:15 a.m. The edge of tomorrow, one might say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the name of the movie. <laughs> it's such a great name for a time travel thing where you're looping. Yeah, that, that is you're a on good the name. Edge of tomorrow. It's a good one. Way better than Live Die Repeat, which is a garbage name, which is what they changed it to. Let's just throw this at them and just commit suicide in this case. Looks like she's wearing gray lipstick. I have like that. I have a color like that, but it's not natural. Yeah. She, she's, you know. She's trying to look spooky. She's a spirit medium, I guess. Yeah. 
It also kind of looks like her top lip's like twice as wide as her bottom lip. Um... I feel like they drew the, the dark line in between her lips like way too long, so she looks like she has like a con slightly confusing mouth. I, I guess so. I was like, I was like <laughs> trying to look at Keith's face and see if that's a normal, a normal thing or not. Yeah, I think you're right. There's like a thing where like the top lip can be more prominent and so on, but like it's like... It feels like it's too horizontal. <laughs> well, I think you're supposed to connect the dots yourself. Yeah. So I watched the boat the whole time. What about? I'm trying to think what how you could prove she wasn't because I'm assuming she wasn't, and that's the point you're supposed to point out. I right, so now how how do you prove this? So I looked at the like the whole time. There wasn't much else to see. Uh. This is this whole lake in front of. Wait me. wait wait! No 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 no! No what? never mind. I was gonna no. I was being stupid. I was like, well, it's like midnight, you know, and it's Christmas. Do they have fireworks on Christmas? This will never come up. It's not going to come up because they don't have evidence of this. If there were fireworks on Christmas, the camera would probably go off more. Well, yeah, and then also it would be like reflected in the lake or something. Yeah. But okay. I was like, people don't do fireworks on Christmas anyway. We also don't have a contradiction in the shots to look for necessarily because the gun was supposedly fired three times. So we don't, we're not, we're not, we're not really looking for like... No, I- Party popper bangs. I, I'm just being goofy. Yeah. Uh, um, the, I feel like the logic here is really loose about well, what might be the answer here. Wasn't much else to look at, so I, looked, I watched the We also keep the presenting time. the same two pieces of evidence over and over again, and it keeps being right. What does the so, bullet- the bullet says? Found in the victim's body. Okay, nothing Matches useful. Matches the gun. Um, can we- I think it might just be the gun, because the gun shot three times, but I don't know, like, I- it's gonna come up eventually. Why would that be a contradiction with there wasn't much else to look at, so I watched the boat the whole time? Because she didn't see any other, anything else, but she should have. But, like, that's what the con thing we're supposed to contradict, according to Phoenix, is this statement on the screen on the bottom. Well, how does it, be like, if you were watching, you would have that? known that the gun shot two more times or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, mm. I'm like, just throwing things against the wall at this point. It's hard because you have to you have to try to you have to try to predict what kind of leap Phoenix is going to make, and you can have a completely reasonable argument, but it, but you can't tell the game that. <laughs> huh? Because he he found it suspicious that she was not searching the lake actively for the Gord monster, so maybe the Gordy article is evidence itself. Well, I don't I don't think that's it. I think it's. I, I don't know. Hmm. I mean... We're down to the wire. She, she watched the boat the whole time, but it's not like she could see anything anyway. But Phoenix thinks that there's contradiction. Like, Phoenix doesn't believe that she was watching the, the boat the whole time. She, he thinks that she looked out at the lake when she heard the, the, the crash. And then she saw the boat, but then she kept looking around because she was actually looking for Gordy. Like, that's what he just- he, he explicitly said that instead of she present evidence. I, like, that's the statement he said. Like, it seems like a really on-the-nose clue by the game that I'm supposed to, like, present evidence she was looking for Gordy. But I don't know what that would be besides just the Gordy article again? Which, I mean, it's not the first time we've just re-presented the same evidence. Because we just keep half discussing it and then and then starting over with it again. Well, uh, at, once again, it's like, well, are we gonna get penalized? Or just yes, like, you always uh, get penalized. When you get Every single time you get penalized, unless you're right. Every once in a while, I throw you a freebie. Yeah, but it's usually the it's usually the dialogue choices that are that are less penalizing. Yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna present this again because the whole it makes a crashing noise thing that we know. I mean, at this point, honestly, I'm I'm at, at a huge loss. Yeah. Objection! Well, oh, that's, that's not, that sounded like it. Miss Hart, were you really looking at the boat? What's with you? Of course, I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person be looking at it. 
I agree. Any normal person would. But you are far from normal. W what? Y'all want to step over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Ugh. Wait, scanning the lake takes you two seconds. You just like look left and right. You like you give a good a good binocular glance, and then at that point but it's like fog oh, it's, uh, and whatever. darkness. I guess it's the foggy lake at midnight, and she's looking for Gordy, I guess. the elusive cryptid. You don't just give up in two seconds. Some boring boat over there. Fuck that boat. <laughs> it's not Gordy. Yeah. Order. Continue, Mr. Wright. So, you know, this is a little bit, uh, like, grabbing at straws, I think, but... You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Yeah. Because his whole point is to make sure, is to prove that she's not a witness, basically, or to ruin her testimony. So maybe, yeah, maybe she is and just on here for fun. If she is looking through her binoculars, she has a super limited field of view. Yeah. And so she's looking tunnel vision around the lake, looking for Gordy, trying to figure out where the crash is. Because she did not identify it yet as being a gunshot. She heard a crash or a bang, which she thought was what Gordy would make. Mm -hmm. So, and she didn't see a flash the first time. So the first bang, she's just searching the ga the lake with her binoculars, like, oh my god, where's Gordy? Second bang, she sees a flash of light, and she realizes that it may be a gunshot from the from the be the boat. But I'm not even entirely sure if she even thought that at the time, because when we talked to her, she had like no idea anything happened to the lake. So she might just be fabricating her entire testimony to sound cool and hip and relevant when in reality she just won. Because because like she. She's getting a career out of catching things on film and being an investigative reporter or whatever the hell, but like for things that aren't real. <laughs> but uh, she does currently hey. have the hot scoop of the fact that she caught a murder on film. So if and she maybe can hype, she's if she can hype to, this shit up, yeah. it, it increases the price for when she tries to sell the photograph to, to newspapers. To the National Enquirer. She's here because capitalism. <laughs> yeah, she's going to sell to some tabloid that's magazine. That's why she's fucking the entire thing. So yeah, so she's yeah. just here for for the for the the fame then. That's, yeah. Okay. You okay. needed them to search for Gordy. That's, that's what you were doing. Dumb. That's fine. <laughs> well. Hmm. Well, now that y'all, well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Mm. Oh, so sorry, y'all. I, I wasn't fibbing, really. I was, I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching the boat till now. We have another example of someone just wasting our time on day one. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Which is good, because once again, Phoenix had no evidence. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky. So we always need a time-wasting lady to get us through day one where we're not prepared to do our fucking homework. This... This is totally uncalled for. But, but, but hey! You got the photograph, you got proof. Mmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo in. <gasps> oh no! Witness, that's enough. She enhanced it, but it's against his... his. It's not Edgeworth. It's not Edgeworth in the photo. Yeah, he doesn't want to see it because the enhanced photo contradicts the testimony. He is an... A bastard. It also makes him, her, more of a bastard too. Yeah, because, because that, she's, means, that means she's testifying evidence that she knows is false. Yeah, maybe she's an idiot. She just didn't look at it. <laughs> maybe she doesn't even know what she's doing. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. <gasps> Shut my what? What was she going to say? She enhanced it. She took the photo and what? Enhanced it. Wait a second. Bloop, 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 bloop. The flashback. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell who the photo is sh uh, shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She's 
She said it'll drop the quality of might, but should let us see who's who. He enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Van Car Von Karma, who doesn't care about justice at all. <laughs> great, <laughs> great prosecutors we've got in this series. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Once again, not yeah. how it works. <laughs> Miss Hart, look at this photograph. Uh. <laughs> You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. Oh, what are y'all talking about? You're the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. Yay, she's turning on him, because fuck well, him. Well, well, see, she's not representing her. She's literally just an un... She's supposed to be like a witness that's just yeah, there. Yeah, she's just a witness. So she doesn't care what he says. Yeah, but all the witnesses are weirdly our enemy for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? <clears throat> Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Do, 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 the prosecution do, do, objects do, do, do. to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement. Yeah! The Good job, Judge. Here it is. Finally. How well, unhelpful. Two bald people are in a, in a, uh, in a equilibrium gunfight. What fight. is this? This is like, this is not at all even the photo we just were looking at. There's no like it doesn't. Yeah, they're not even in the same pose. It's a different angle. Oh my god! They magically don't have hair. Oh my god! There's gosh. a lot to take in about how nonsensical this photo is. I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit. It's a little annoying. I'm a little annoyed. It's a little annoying. This isn't this isn't the kind of catharsis it'll, it'll I was drop the hoping quality for. Of my... <laughs> yeah, no. This is dropped quality. It's not at all. What the fuck are you saying? And yeah, it stinks a little bit of the, uh, the game that the Beastars, like, manga and anime has to play with the anonymous carnivore at the, in the cold open. Yeah. Where it looks like a tiger in the anime and it looks like a wolf in the manga. And then, because, like, if you show anything at all, it implies things about who it could be. Oh, yeah, so it's, like, really iffy. People are too, kind of uh... They're too good. Yeah, so in this one they're like, oh, it's weird anonymous, like, uh, mannequins that shot each other. Oh, who could it be? It's like, that's not how the photograph would work. I'm looking at this and I'm trying this to... This photograph should give away the entire goddamn court thing, but they cheat, basically, by making them weird, bald... What? I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out, like, how to look at this and be like, that's not Edgeworth. There's like nothing about either of these people that's really defining, and then... No, it's two completely identical men in trench coats and no hair. But, but, but they're probably not supposed to not have my hair. It's probably just supposed to be an anonymous photo somehow, but they couldn't figure out how to draw it in a convincingly anonymous way without just making it a cheat. <laughs> no, I understand. It would be it, hard to do. Yeah, because in the in the flash, in the murder scene that we saw, Edgeworth was wearing a trench coat over his styling clothes. <laughs> so it's still unhelpful. It's very, I would, his very ru styling His, his ruffles in purple. I would definitely wear his outfit. You can see his purple and his ruffles under the, under the trench coat he's wearing for some reason. What? The, okay, so... How's this gonna help us? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, and look how, their hands are huge, by the way. Yeah, I know, there's a lot going on here. Edgeworth is a big ass dude, though, we've, we've learned from this case. He's huge. Well, apparently this other guy is the it same height, so... It was actually Von Baron. Oh my gosh. Or Von... Von Karma. Von Karma. <laughs> Von Baron just comes out naturally. But he's hmm. Karma, get it? We still cannot see who is firing in this. Well, it's the guy on the right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright. It's him. He's the murderer. Wait a minute. With his giant hands. <laughs> Was that a different time? Hmm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. But not of the same photo, I think. <laughs> and little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. No, that's definitely not why. You requested she not show it because there's, there's some, there's something. 
definitive about it that you don't Yeah, he like... wouldn't care about extraneous evidence that doesn't hurt his case. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. You're being paid, bitch. A lot, probably. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed when this trial began. He must be being paid a lot, because look at his, like, exorbitant outfit. Yeah. Like and his, his little... And his brooch. Yeah, his little brooch. <laughs> decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, you failed to propose either of those things. Nothing, of course. All, she, all he did so far was prove there was a murder, <laughs> which is not decisive evidence. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> then I believe it is time for me to, to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. Time. I don't know if I'm right about that, but I think, I think, I think... This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Can you look at... Okay. Um... Are, it, can, if you say show the evidence, can you look at your evidence? I can just look at it right now. Okay. What time was the? F oh, wait, it's the same photo. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure. For We're, some reason, yeah. I thought it was twelve fourteen, there's not some, twelve fifteen some, or something. There's some magic zoom and enhance going on with well, the. Uh, I thought the time they gave was wrong, but nah. I was just was dumb. Okay. What about the um? Oh wait, no, no, it doesn't help. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, everyone. Oh, it replaced the old photo. Yeah, that's why I was that's why I was gonna say like we'll compare the photos, because I thought one was 12 14 and one was 12 15. Or something along those lines. That was just yeah. I thought maybe that was like the second gunshot or the third gunshot and not the first gunshot, you know. What about the, the but now I'm like, I wish I could see the old photograph, because I thought it would be something like yeah. Wrong about the comparison, or it wasn't gonna be the same one, or something like I'm that. I'm trying to compare the gun to see if it's the same gun. Yeah. It's not very well drawn. <laughs> no. Like it doesn't have. Oh, oh, oh! oh left hammer. hand. Left hand. Left hand. The 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 fingerprints were on the right hand. Of, oh, they, they match. Of the, so they match Edward's right hand. Yeah. But that's the left hand yeah. gun. Yeah. That's one. That's absolutely it. Where does it say that? Um, on the gun. Edgeworth's right hand. And this is a lot. Yep. You basically called that immediately, too. Mm -hmm. Like, that, fucking two hours ago or whatever. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Show other evidence. Wait. Your Honor. This evidence. I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. Well, that's what we're here for. Hmm, Jeez indeed. Louise, hold your horses, bub. We have heard opinions of every piece of evidence, but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. I... This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Object to the enlargement. With evidence. <laughs> fucking loopholes. <laughs> that objection was fucking stupid. Your Honor. There is something I decidedly strange with this enlargement. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Da, da, what might that da, be? Da. Mr. Wright? You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's a click on the photo one. Gotcha. Oh, it's circle circle the discrepancy. Do, do, do. Boop, boop. Can you find the difference? Here, Your Honor. Three clues. The shooter. Blues clues. I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? The hand directly contradicts the other piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Uh, this man's left hand does what? <laughs> Let me show you what. <laughs> I'm Let, having a meltdown I'll here. show you what. <laughs> Dumbass says what? What? <laughs> Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence the left hand contradicts. Take that! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol with his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. 
Ergo, this man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Mumbling. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene in this court of law. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We know. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. It was you! Wow, that's just... That, that's over quick. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you saw a lot like, yeah. ma maybe he's ambidextrous, or like, maybe he like, it had both prints on it, but he picked it up with his right hand afterwards, or like, I don't know how that would work, but... Like, I, I think the case isn't over yet. No, because... Well, There's this, no way it's over yet, no. but we're the defense attorney. Yeah, so... So like... What now? Yeah, our, we, our, our guy's off the hook, so how is there more case? But surely there is, because it'd be weird if it just ended like this. Yeah, because we're not the... Yeah, it, they always end with us, like, defining who's guilty, basically. That's why it's going to be you who maybe did it. Maybe we'll object to it somehow. I don't know. Hmm. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Are they about to say, like... Well, you have two days to find the the actual murderer, or Edgeworth goes to jail because our system's stupid. That would be the dumbest thing ever, because you're that, not a prosecutor. Yeah. Like, how many times? Like, we're it's not, okay. We're not a detective. We're not a police officer. We're not a prosecutor. <laughs> Why are we doing everyone's jobs? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people in the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? The victim himself. Larry! Oh my gosh. Larry! Get Fox. Larry back in here. Get him back on trial! You like throw him <laughs> under the bus to save Edgeworth. <laughs> He's living for Keonce. The victim so. clearly didn't shoot himself because you know, the photo shows the shooting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. He's not too cop. He's not. He's not like a time traveler back to stop himself. <laughs> like it's like we have to stop data. We have to stop data dying from happening. We must kill John Connor with the, John Connor. The first one. The first one was a a blank. I'm telling. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. That, Larry. It's gonna be. A, what the fuck? Do I have to say Larry? No. The answers don't make sense. No, I guarantee it's gotta be victim himself because there's three shots. So one of them's gonna be the one where he shot himself. The other two are him. I think I, I swear he's blaming Edgeworth for his own suicide on purpose. He's but, gonna turn but, the gun back on himself. But the photo is him firing the gun. Yeah, but he's firing it past him. He's gonna shoot. Oh, that wouldn't make sense. That, why would he do that? Oh, why hold would on. he shoot Wait, past hold him? On. No, 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 no. Because the victim is it? Wait, other two. The victim's holding the gun. What if there's two victims? The victim's holding the gun, <laughs> and the victim's the guy on the on what the if, right. What if there was two murders? He and shoots. We, they just assumed the second guy was Edgeworth. He shoots past Edgeworth, <laughs> and aims the gun at himself. What if Hammond shot somebody else? I don't know. And then shot himself, and there's two bodies, <laughs> and well, neither, neither of them were Edgeworth. You're fucking missing a body, then. <laughs> yeah. Edgeworth already said he's on. He was on the boat. Yeah, he did. And if Edgeworth isn't the guy who's shooting, Edgeworth is the other guy. So I, the the guy who is dead, shot past Edgeworth, aimed the gun at himself, shoots himself, and then blames Edward Ed, Ed Squidward for his own death. <laughs> But if, he, if he shot three times, why is there only one photo? One to draw attention. One was Gordy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, because it's shot it Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> There's three murders. <laughs> one like one for attention. One for Gordy right between the eyes. And one for my son. Right <laughs> between the eyes. Gordy is right there <laughs> staring at him like my window. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get rich. I'm gonna buy a giant dinosaur. I'm gonna put it out there. It's gonna be named Gordy now. It's gonna be it's looking in your window. Gordy officially. <laughs> Everyone donate to Keith's Patreon a whole bunch so he can buy me a dinosaur for, like statue so I can name it Gordy and put it outside his window. Who could have shot the victim? <clears throat> How the fuck do we reconcile the victim himself shoot it when, it, when there's a photo of him shooting somebody else? There was three gunshots, and the other person was Edgeworth, and who else could have done it? 
Okay, yeah, I mean, there's it's the issue Larry. where the other answers also don't make sense. It's not whereas, Larry. Whereas this is what, this this matches with uh, Edgeworth's what Edgeworth said to us. Yeah. But doesn't match the photo at all. But the other answers don't make sense either. Miss Hart, unless she had a sniper rifle. Ne yeah, neither of those people look like Miss Hart. <laughs> yeah. That's well, <laughs> Miss Hart would have to be sitting on the banks with a sniper rifle. She's, she's got those Nami legs. Well, because Ed <laughs> Edward already said he was on the boat. And Larry is the joke answer, I assume. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless we can genuinely have two more days of defending Larry in a murder trial. <laughs> Fuck it. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Oh my god. Order. Order. So you are saying the victim committed suicide? What if the gun misfired somehow? It <laughs> like shot back backwards. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's one of those newfangled backwards guns. Good, like, <laughs> yes, Your Honor. They don't label those I can well think of enough no other these days. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option, except for the massive contradiction with the photograph <laughs> that, no, that we're apparently just glazing past. It couldn't be a sniper because the the bullet matches the gun. Oh yeah, I forgot about so that it's not part. Like, and there's no large caliber or like long range rifling. I just wanted to picture Lotta Hart on the banks with her giant <laughs> sniper <laughs> rifle that was underneath that tarp that she wasn't showing us. <laughs> She's the third Overwatch sniper girl. Objection! I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. How? What? An examination of the victim's wounds reveals the distance at which he was shot. Oh. How? Well, why didn't you tell us this earlier? Where'd you find the bullet? Wasn't it in the body? Well, the bullet was... How do you shoot a body point a blank? Minute. How do you shoot a human being at point blank range and, Not hit... and it hits none of his bones, no, no bones and doesn't come out the other side? And doesn't end up in the lake. Yeah. Shouldn't, have, shouldn't there be an exit wound if it didn't hit any bones at close range? Well, shouldn't it be long gone? Shouldn't it be, like, yeah. out in the water? The... <laughs> right in Gordy's head. <laughs> no! Gordy! The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. Prove it, what? punk! Prove it! The photo it. doesn't show that either. Punk! The photo does not show that either. Everything contradicts the evidence. Yeah, but they're sending None of this evidence matches any of the other evidence. I'm gonna have a fucking meltdown. The, those two gigantic men were standing like a Are foot from titans? each other. Because they were very How big. big were they? they were not far apart. A meter? Th that's three feet. The Thanks, boat please. itself is four feet. <laughs> no, it's 3.5 feet. <laughs> a four foot There's boat no would way be it tiny. Could have been a suicide. Uh, the boat's probably like seven feet. I mean, I don't have to. Eight feet, maybe. I'm a defense attorney. I don't, I don't have to find a I don't new know. murderer on the fucking fly off the top of my head. This is not our job. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Where did you get it? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide. He's see. lying. He's lying. He's fucking Robert's lying. Robert's autopsy report. It's, yeah. We got another modified autopsy report again. It happened again. He's fucking lying. That's why Edgeworth did it late. Like, but also, the autopsy meter, report meter doesn't make sense. Mm, I'm all. Mm. You see how the guns point? Like his arm is long. It's like right up to his chest. Yeah, it was like. It was like a foot, maybe. They might have been standing a meter apart, but that fucking gun wasn't no, a meter away. Uh -uh. That's not how the ballistics report would play out at all. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. What? Hmm. You flipped real fast on definitive evidence that he's not the shooter to, oh, he must be the shooter, even though no additional evidence was ever proposed that it had to be him, just that he was shot. Who decided this guy should be a judge? He's, he he he's waffles more than anyone else I've ever heard of. He's a complete idiot. He's this an is, idiot? Maybe this is why juries exist <laughs> in he's... murder trials. You know, I think maybe. Because <laughs> this guy's an idiot. He has, he's spineless. However, he's bossed around by his attorneys. The prince and the gun re revealed that Shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. Once again, we still have basically no evidence that it was Edgeworth. Oh, but I'm so confused because his fingerprints are on the gun, but they're his right hand. Are they saying that... Do they know it's Edgeworth's fingerprints specifically? It says Edgeworth's 
fingerprints right hand. It's his right-handed fingerprints. That means they must match his hand. Well, we did see the flashback where he's holding the gun, so he must be. He must have picked it up. <clears throat> yeah, he must have picked it up. So it is but for sure enough, him the, on the boat. None of the none of the witness testimony or photos place him on the boat. They only can. The only the only evidence we have is that he touched the gun. Well, no, no. The only reason we know who's on the boat is because he himself told us. He, he told was on the us, gun. but or no, the, on the he, boat, no one heard that. Okay. I know. Only yeah. we know that. So from their perspective, the only evidence is that he touched the gun at some point, and that's like somehow fucking con- like fucking convicting evidence of perfect clarity. And it's like, but what about all those massive contradictions? You know, eh. you know what the, you know what these cases normally have. What. Uh, the defendant go testify. <laughs> that is also like, we haven't. <laughs> you think Edgeworth would be about, like. He was about to declare Edgeworth guilty without actually letting him speak. Exactly. Which is some hot bullshit. You think Edgeworth would explain why he's on the boat or if he's not, yeah. or, or maybe. We know the know. reason he hasn't testified yet is because it's, they have a whole planned out dramatic three hour, three act structure to the case. And he's going to testify on like day two or three or whatever. But they don't know that. They're just about to convict a guy without even asking him any questions. We, we really need him to explain himself because yeah. this would help with a lot of things. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. I'm tuckered out. I need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I need some apple juice and some crackers. <laughs> I need my apple juice. <laughs> uh, Pink Princess is on. I need to go home and watch it. The court orders the de- snappy time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the court orders the defense and prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. We're going to go out to investigate this at the lake, and he's going to show up with his fucking bat to kneecap us, because he never loses a case. He's going to he's gonna go at us. I've never lost a case, and I'm not going to lose a case this time. So we, so we Takes were in, out your legs. We were, in a, we were in court for three hours, which is only 50% longer than how long we were actually here <laughs> for this case. I... Because I, I can so. I can look over in real time and it's been it's been two hours and seventeen minutes and for them it's been what three hours and fifteen minutes so we're still going faster than however fast it's supposed to be in universe apparently. Well, granted, we have a lot of banter. Yeah, but we're still going faster than them, so I don't know how their time works. <laughs> They're saying everything very slow. <laughs> it's like the opposite <laughs> of Dragon Ball, <laughs> where the dra- fights are supposedly dra- happening like in an instant and in super speed. <laughs> Ew, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? We need your help, you punk well, ass. Well, yeah, but... You need to get your ass out, up there. What happened out there on the lake anyway? Yeah, fuck you. If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. Explain yourself, you punk I ass. I was just kidding around. I'm getting so mad at him. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? How does right ever tell when he's when he means uh, oh right or oh right? Like how do you how do you tell if he's asking your name or if he's saying an, an agreement? Like oh right? <laughs> like and, it's incredibly and, confusing. I mean you can't pronounce the W. <laughs> saying right comes up a lot in your normal life. Yeah, but I it's feel a like, horrible name. I feel like as a lawyer, Call it probably just, comes up extra. Please start calling him Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Well, because because if if you're in this profession, people are calling you by your last name all the time, mm-hmm. and and they're trying to say if you are correct often. Right. <laughs> so right <laughs> comes up a lot. It's a horrible name. It's the worst name to have for this. Yeah. Tell us something for me. What? Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. Oh, That's he's such all. a tsundere. Would it kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? I don't like you, Baka. I represent I a represent transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. But the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Two bangs. I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight on 1225. Pow, pow. 
Oh, yep. Three guns, three shots were fired. It's gotta come up at some point. That's just a weird discrepancy. Three shots, two of which were heard, one of which hit the victim. I just thought it was funny that it literally never came up except for in the description of the gun. Yeah, like we're like, oh my god, smoking gun! <laughs> That's the little smoking gun of this case, and it's mm -hmm. like, when's that gonna come up? Probably never, it's probably like fucking long pants. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's another cultural thing where they actually shoot an extra bullet every time. <laughs> We wear long pants. <laughs> it's a burst fire pistol. In LA. Can't you tell? In the distant land. Profile. In the distant. Anyone could tell it's a burst pistol. Duh. Duh. In the distant land Shut. of LA, everyone wears their pants long and they shoot one bullet before they shoot the two that they actually mean. <laughs> Duh. Don't you, you know shoot, our culture you here shoot in two LA? shots before a suicide. <laughs> yeah. Duh. See y'all next time. <laughs>